Hello and welcome back lovely people, my name is Toby and today we will go through a vinyasa sequence that will focus on twists and standing balancing poses. So we will directly start standing. Find a stand on your mat wherever, or wherever you want. The feet are hips width distance apart. You have a slight bend in your knees and then just shake your arms around. You twist to the right, your hips stay center and then you twist to the left and you just spin around. Get some freedom in the middle of your spine. Get active, get warm, shake the arms out. Don't think too much about it. Just get into the movement. Maybe find your breath on the way. Maybe twist deeper with every round. A couple more rounds. Maybe bend the knees a bit more. Use that to go deeper. Find your momentum, your rhythm. And then let it go. Come to the middle slowly. Nice job. Come to the beginning of the mat. Find a stand there. Stand tall, stand proud, still. stand with confidence. Tuck your chin in slightly, pull the crown of your head up slightly, pull the ribs in, stand here, breathe here, take two breaths here, into the belly, into the chest, exhale, let it go, into the belly, into the chest, and then let it go, inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, pull, the, pull your hands to your heart, fold down, forward fold. Fold all the way down, bend the knees slightly. And then halfway up, long spine. Bring your fingertips to the ground, step the right foot back. Let the right foot, let the right knee land come up. Ada <laughs> Anjani Asana, low lunge. Pull the elbows down, cactus the arms. Twist to the left side of your body or to the left side of the mat, gaze to the left. Inhale up to the middle and arms up to the sky. Fingers to the ground, straighten both legs long pyramid pose. Straighten them as far or as much as you can. If they are still bent, don't know, do not worry about it. Slowly step forward, forward fold. Roll all the way up, arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pull down, all the way, halfway up, long spine, fingertips to the ground, left foot steps back, left knee lands, come up under asana. Pull your elbows down, twist to the right side, find center again, fingertips to the ground, straighten both legs, long pyramid pose. Slowly lean forward, step forward. Roll all the way up, find standing, reach the arms up for the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Hold down. Halfway up, Hada Uttanasana. Fingertips to the ground, step the right foot back, right knee length, come up, Anjani Asana. Pull the elbows down, twist to the left side. If you want, open the fingers or open the hands up and lean back, reach four. Your right heel behind you. Come forward again. Fingertips land on the ground. Long pyramid pose. Bend your leg. Rise up. High lunge. Find balance. Find stability. Step forward. Find standing. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Fall down. Halfway up. All the way down, left foot steps back, left knee lands, come up, Anjaniyas. Pull the elbows down, twist to the right side if you want. Reach with the right hand for your left heel. Release, fingertips to the ground, long pyramid pose. Bend your right leg, rise up, high lunge. Hands to your heart, step forward. 
Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Halfway up, long spine. All the way down. Fingertips to the ground, right foot steps back. Right knee lands, rise up under the asana. Elbows pull down, you twist open to the left side if you want, you reach for the heel behind you. Come forward again, long pyramid pose, fingertips touch the ground. Legs are long or as long as possible for you right now. Bend the left leg, rise up, high lunge. Careful now, pull the hands to your heart. Push your left foot into the ground and then step forward, pull the right knee into your chest, find balance. Nice. Let the right foot land on your left thigh and then sit down. Half standing pigeon. Rise up again. Let the right foot land. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive down. Halfway up. All the way down. Left foot steps back. Left knee lands. Rise up. Underneath. Pull the elbows down, twist to the right side. Open the arms if you want to. Lean back, reach for your left heel if you want to. Come back center and forward. Forward, fold over your long right leg, long pyramid pose. Bend the leg, rise up, high lunge. Find your balance, find your right foot. Pull, hands to your heart, step forward, pull your left knee into your chest. Find your balance here. Let your left foot land on your right thigh and then sit down. The, the back is long, you sit low into it. You push your left knee down slightly. Then rise out of it, pull the left knee into your chest and let the left foot land. Arms up to the sky. Dive down, forward fold. Let the fingertips land, let the knees land behind you. Find tabletop position. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Start circling your shoulders around, over your fingertips, over your wrists, in all the directions and all forms and shapes. Just a couple of rounds. Which side of, which side of you haven't yet? And then slowly come to the middle. Inhale, gaze up, pelvis pulls up, belly button pulls down. Cow pose. The exhale guides you into your cat pose, round your spine, round your back, up to the sky. Inhale brings you into cow pose. Exhale guides you down, cat pose. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Take your time with those. Really let the in and exhale guide you in the, in the directions in those poses. The inhale brings you up. The exhale brings you down. When you're out the next time in your cow pose, hold it. Push your toes into the ground behind you. And then bring yourself up into your downward facing dog. Find your down dog. Pedal out the legs. Wiggle around. Find your space. Get comfortable here. And straighten the legs. Roll vertebra by vertebra forward into your plank pose. When you're in your plank pose, let your hips sink down. Roll the shoulders back. Upward facing dog, you stay on your toes, gaze slightly up or forward, you try to roll the shoulders back and then bring yourself back up into your downward facing dog. Two more times, that's just like this. Roll forward, find your plank pose and then sink into your upward facing dog from here. Push the hips forward slightly. Shift back, downward facing dog, one more round. Roll forward, sink into your upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders back and then bring yourself back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Step forward in between your hands, let the right foot land. Slowly rise up, high lunge again. 
You've been here before. Get comfortable here. Push your right knee forward. Hold the hands to your heart. And then slowly reach, reach, reach your chest, your upper body forward. Until you can lift the left foot off the ground and pull it up. Your right knee is deeply bent. We are in a crouching warrior. The gaze, the chest is slightly forward. Pull your left knee in, let it land, or let the left foot land beside your right foot. Come up, chair pose. Sit into it. Forward fold, fold forward. Halfway up, long spine. Hands to the ground, your vinyasa. Your way back into your downward facing dog. And that's where we meet, down dog. Left leg up to the sky, step forward in between your hands. Slowly rise up, high lunge. Arrive, you. take your time. Pull your hands to your heart center. Lean your upper body forward. Let your weight pull you forward until you can lift the right leg off the ground. The left leg is deeply bent. You pull the right leg up higher. Chest gaze forward. Pull your right knee in. Let the right foot land beside the left foot and then come up, legs are bent, chair pose, sit into it. Fold forward, forward fold, halfway up long spine. Hands to the ground, step or jump back, vinyas. Your way back into your downward facing dog. And we slowly build up onto this. Right leg up to the sky. Step forward, find your high lunge. Rise up. Hands to your heart. Shift forward. Pull yourself into crouching warrior. Pull your left knee in. Let the left foot land. Chair pose. Fold forward. Forward fold. Careful here now. We lift the left foot slightly off the ground. The right hand reaches for the outside of the left foot. We shift our weight onto our right foot. And then we slowly rise up. We bring the right foot and the left foot and the left leg with us. If you want, straighten the left leg to the back of the room. Hold it. Find your balance here first. The left leg does not need to be straight. And then slowly let go of the leg. Float it. Attention now. The left leg sinks down. The upper body sinks forward. Right hand reaches for the ground. We find half moon pose, Adha Chandrasana. Take a block if you want to for supporting your balance. Can help tremendously to use a block to bring the ground closer to you. Always a very welcome help in this one. Lowly bend your right leg. Left foot lands to the ground behind you. Sink into your warrior too. Awesome. Slowly bring your hands to the ground. Vinyasa, step back and flow back into your downward facing dog. Left leg up to the sky. Step forward. Find your high lunge. Pull your hands to your heart. Lean forward. Pull yourself into crouching warrior. Pull your right knee in, right foot lands to the inside of the left foot. Reach your arms up, chair pose. Fold forward, forward fold. Let's go to the other side. Lift your left foot slightly off the ground. And uh, the right foot, I'm sorry, right foot lifts. The left hand reaches for the outside of the right foot. You shift your weight onto your left foot and then slowly rise up. Find the balance on the way up. Find it again and again. Reach the foot forward if you want. Reach the right hand back. The right leg does not need to be straight. Find center here first. And then let go of the foot. Let it float. The leg sinks down. Your upper body leans forward. And then find half moon pose. Again, take a block. Use the ground as support. Slowly bend your left leg. 
let your right foot land behind you. Warrior two, sink into. Bring your hands to the ground. Step back, vinyasa. There's more to come to this sequence, so we will continue flowing. Let's go. Right leg up to the sky, step forward, high lunge. Rise up, hands to your heart, pull yourself into crouching warrior. Pull your left leg in, left foot lands, chair pose. Lean forward, dive down. Right hand reaches for the left foot or the outside of the left foot and then rise up. Find your balance. Let go of the foot. Let it sink down, lean forward, half moon pose. Slowly bend your right leg, let your left foot land behind you, warrior two. Left hand comes to the ground in front of you. Roll over the outside of your left foot, step over yourself. Wild thing for a moment, open up, open the chest, open the hip up to the sky. Explore some new spaces. Pull your right knee in, step forward. Careful here now, listen closely. You rise up, the left hand pulls forward, the right hand pulls back to the back of the room. We are in arches lunge. Your right knee sinks down lower. Or you bend it lower. Stay here. Bring your hands to your heart center. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right leg. Find your twist. Lean into your leg. Push the hands together. Bring your gaze forward, step forward. Twist the chair pose, twist deeper into it, sit down into it. And then release to the middle, fold forward, forward fold. Halfway up, all the way down, step or jump back, vinyasa. Flow into your downward facing dog. Or skip the vinyasa if you're done with those. Left leg up to the sky. Step forward to the top of the mat. Come up. High lunge. Pull your hands to your heart. Lean, pull yourself into crouching warrior. Pull your right leg in, let it land. Rise up. Legs are bent, chair pose. Fold forward, forward fold. Lift the right foot off slightly. Left hand reaches for the outside of the right foot. And then slowly rise up. Take the leg with you. Drain it forward. Let go of it. Straighten the leg a bit more. And then let it sink down. Lean forward, half moon pose. Awesome job. Bend the left leg, right foot lands behind you, rise up, warrior two, be strong, be confident here. Right hand lands in front of you to the top of the mat, roll over the outside of the right foot, left foot steps over you, open up, wild thing pose. Pull the left hand forward, push the hips up more, roll the right shoulder onto your back. And then slowly pull the left leg in again, step forward to the top of the mat, careful here again, left hand pulls back, right hand pulls forward, arches lunge. Give yourself a smile, sink into it deeper. And then bring your hands to your heart center, hook the right elbow to the outside of your left leg, twist into it, lean into your leg a bit more. Pull the left shoulder back more, maybe bring the gaze up. Slowly bring the gaze down to the ground, step forward. Slowly, with more steps or one big one. And then sit into twist the chair. Take a moment here. And then fold forward, straighten the legs. Halfway up along the spine. Hands to the ground, step or jump back. Vinyasa. One last final. Round. Let's do this. Right leg up to the sky. Step forward. High lunge, rise up. Hands to your heart, lean forward, crouching warrior. Pull your left leg and let the left foot lay. 
chair pose, fold forward. Right hand reaches for the left foot, rise up. Find the balance on the way. Let go of the foot, straighten the leg. Let it sink down, your upper body leans forward, half moon pose. Bend your right leg, left foot lands behind you, warrior two. Find your warrior. Left hand to the ground, to the top of the mat. Wild thing pose. Maybe this time let both feet land parallel. And then push your hips up more vertically. If you want it. Just an option. Sink your hip down again, straighten your left leg again. Step to the top of the mat. Arches lunge, right hand pulls back, left hand pulls forward. Last little bit. Lean yourself forward, let the left hand land at the top of the mat. Shift your weight forward, twist at half moon. Right leg pulls up to the sky, left leg is high. And now listen closely here, pull your left knee in. Let the left chin land to the outside of your right foot. Sit down. Sit down. Find a chill. We find a seated twist. So the left arm wraps around your right leg. Your right fingertips land behind you. You inhale and you straighten your spine. You exhale, you twist into it. You can always hook the left triceps or the left elbow to the outside of your right leg if you prefer this. Try to have the sit bones on the ground and try to grow taller with every inhale you take. Slowly release, come forward, lean forward. From here you can go into your Vinyasa, if you want, or just step back into your downward facing dog. Let's go. Vinyasa. Or downward facing dog. That's where we meet. Left leg up to the sky. Last side, last round. Let's go. Step forward. High lunge. Rise up. Hands to your heart. Lean forward. Crouching warrior. Pull your knee in. Let the right foot land. Chair pose. Lean forward, forward, forward. Left hand reaches for your right foot, rise up. Find balance. Maybe it's more stable now. Maybe you feel a bit more confident with your own balance. Straighten the leg, let it go. Let it sink down. Reach for the ground, half moon pose. Twist to the right side. Bend your left leg. Warrior two, step back. Right hand lands to the ground in front of you. Step over yourself. Wild thing pose. Maybe you pull the right foot in, feet up parallel, and then push your up, your hips up more vertically. Hold it. Breathe here. Think your hips down. Straighten your right leg back, and pull your left knee in. Step forward. Rise up into your arch, slunge, left hand pulls back, right hand forward. Slowly lean forward, the right fingertips land at the top of the mat, you shift your weight forward. Reverse half moon. Reach for the sky with your left hand. Reach your right heel up higher. Slowly pull your right knee in. Your right chin lands to the outside of the left foot. And slowly sit down. Let your sit bones find the ground first, then the right hand and the right arm. Pull your left leg in closer, the left fingertips land behind you. Inhale, straighten your spine. Exhale, twist into it. Stay here, grow taller with every inhale. Slowly release, unravel the legs, let both feet land. Bring yourself back to the center of the mat and then roll down.
Hold the heel, then let the feet land close to your bum, your sit bones. Push the feet into the ground. Reach up with your hip to the sky. Bridge pose. Find your bridge. Walk the shoulder blades together a bit more. You can create a fist under your bum if you would like that, or just stay here. But be active in your glutes. Push the hips up in an active manner. Let your bum sink down, pull your knees in, reach for the outside of the feet, happy baby pose. Be still here, wiggle around, lean from side to side, whatever you like here. And we slowly finish off this practice. We slowly let go of control, we slowly let go of tension. We get softer, we get a bit more passive, we trust a bit more. Let go of the feet, bring the soles of the feet together, let the outside of the feet land. Knees drop open to both sides, let your left hand come to your heart, your right hand to your belly. Close your eyes if you haven't yet, and arrive in Supta Baddha Konasana. In your inhale and exhale, feel your heartbeat. And then let that ground you. Maybe connect with yourself a bit more through it. As you feel your sensations, you feel your body, you feel the heat of your body. You feel like everything is slowing down a bit. Slowly let go of the practice. If you would like to straighten your legs, feel free to do so. Otherwise, just find your Shavasana. Find final relaxation. Feel free to enjoy your final rest a bit longer. Let yourself think lower, find a bit more ease and peace. 
Thank you so much for practicing with me. Thank you so much for showing up for your own practice today. I would love to see you here back on the channel and back on the mat with me practicing. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much. And have a good one. Peace out.